I did an experiment to see what's the cheapest fee I could pay for a crypto transaction, but I ended up with the transaction stuck for 12 days. If you want to see how I'm going to fix that, keep watching this video. In my Atomic Wallet review, Jess Allen commented this. You said if you pay the lowest fee that it might never be confirmed. I didn't realize the Bitcoin miners could not choose to confirm a transaction. Have you actually experienced a non-conformed due to low fee before? And the truth is that I didn't experience this. I didn't even try to see what's the lowest fee I could pay. What better moment to actually do it because all I knew was information from other YouTubers from the internet that you shouldn't set your transaction fee too low otherwise it won't be confirmed and it will get stuck. So I did this experiment and I started with Bitcoin. And here are the results. First I tried with one Satoshi per byte, which is the lowest amount I could set in Ledger Nano S. But that resulted in this error. Apparently this fee was too low for the miners to accept it. That's why I went back and set the transaction fee to two Satoshi per byte. And this time it went through. How much time it took? Let's see. So I sent this transaction on May 21st at 10.13. And this is a transaction in the Blockchain Explorer and it was confirmed on May 24th at 4.51. So it took approximately three days for this transaction to be confirmed. And it's actually not so bad. If you have Bitcoin that you don't need uh, right away, you can just pay the lowest fee and it's possible that it will confirm in three days. And for this transaction, I only paid three cents because the Bitcoin network fee is not based on the amount you want to send. You can send one Bitcoin and 100 Bitcoin and the 100 Bitcoin transaction can actually have a lower fee than the one Bitcoin. After this transaction was complete, I tried another one, this one on May 26th. And you can see here that I paid only two Satoshi per, per byte on this uh, transaction. And even though I only paid four cents for this transaction, it got uh, confirmed even faster just after one day. So it seems that even though you pay the lowest fee possible on the Bitcoin blockchain, you still get your transaction confirmed very quickly if you ask me, taking in consideration you are paying the lowest fee. Miners usually prioritize transaction based on the highest fee and if there are too many people that are paying more than you, in theory it's still possible that your transaction will not be confirmed. So the Bitcoin experiment was successful. However, the Ethereum one, not so much. If you look at this transaction, it's been pending for more than 12 days. If I go to this website, I can see what's the safest, lowest fee that I can pay for an Ethereum transaction. And that is 13 cents, which is 27 GUI. Just like Satoshi is the lowest denomination for Bitcoin, GUI is the lowest denomination for Ethereum. For this transaction, I paid only five. It was really cheap. That was the cheapest transaction fee I could pay in Ledger Nano S. So at this point, I'm not sure what will, it will happen with my transaction and I'm not really willing to wait more than 12 days for, the, for it to complete. So I would like to cancel it. And the way to do that is by connecting my Ledger device, my Ledger wallet to an online wallet called my Ethereum wallet. Unfortunately, the Ledger Nano S hardware wallet doesn't have this option to cancel a pending Ethereum transaction. So I have to use my Ethereum wallet in order to connect my Ledger device to its service and then cancel it from there. To do that, I'll go to the my Ethereum wallet webpage and click here on access my wallet. On here, I'm going to click on hardware and then Ledger. I'm going to click continue. From this list, I'm going to select Ledger Live. But before I continue, I'll take my Ledger Nano S and make sure I'm logged in and in the Ethereum wallet. Now that I got in the Ethereum wallet on my Ledger Nano S, I'm going to click next. And this prompt is very annoying, but hopefully it will find my addresses. This pop-up will keep showing up until five addresses have been found. And I'm going to choose the address that's been affected by this transaction. I found it here is this one. I click on to accept my wallet, accept the terms and then access my wallet. And now my wallet will be available for me in the browser. From here, I'm going to click on send transaction and then set the amount to zero. For the address, I can send it to myself. So I'll just copy the address here and paste it. So I'll send the transaction to myself for zero ETH. And now the first important part is to set the transaction fee high enough in order for the miners to accept it, not like the previous one. So to be sure and be accepted fast by the miners, I'm going to set it to 33, which is 17 cents. I can leave it to 62, but I'm going to change it to 33, like I saw before. After I click edit here, I go to transaction speed. 
here I have different options I'm going to select custom and set to 33 and then save I close this and you can see my transaction fee being 33 here I'm going to continue by clicking send transaction right now on my ledger nano s I have the option to review the transaction after I confirm the transaction on my ledger nano s I come back to the web page where I can look at the detailed information and the second important part is to look at the nonce this number should be the same which is now one should be the same as this one here which is pending if this transaction that I'm sending right now will be mined before this one it means that this one the one that is pending it will be cancelled and the funds will be returned to my wallet but the important part here is to have the same number for nonce because there cannot be two transactions with the same nonce number so that will make our new one even though is for zero ethereum to my wallet because it's mined by the miners and added to the blockchain and the other one wasn't this will take precedence over the other and cancel it so let's just do that i make sure the nonce is the same and i confirm and send now i'm going to check the status on etherscan.io and i'm waiting for this transaction to be mined and only after this transaction has been mined and confirmed my pending transaction will return to me and it will be cancelled if i look at this transaction i can see that um, the transaction fee is 17 cents and if i click to see more i can see that the nonce is the same so when this transaction will be confirmed it will cancel my other transaction after four minutes my transaction was confirmed so let's ha see what happened with my previous one i'll go here click refresh and as you can see my transaction was dropped and replaced and the funds were returned to my wallet and that's it it's a simple process to return the coins to you if they weren't picked by a miner and they weren't confirmed on the blockchain yet for this entire month i'm giving away free bitcoin so if you want a chance at 10 dollars worth of bitcoin like the video leave a comment below and good luck to you i'll see you in the next one